We have breaking news, and that is that Finland is to join NATO this Tuesday. It initially came from the Finnish president's office, saying that it will officially become a member of the NATO military alliance on Tuesday. And then in the last few minutes, Jens Stoltenberg has confirmed that Finland is to join NATO on Tuesday. So a bit of background. Um, Finland has been fairly neutral when it comes to NATO. You'll know Finland has a huge border with Russia. And what we were waiting for after the invasion with Ukraine, that neutrality obviously changed. And what, we, what NATO and Finland were waiting for was for the Turks to give the go ahead because they initially delayed the bid to join NATO. Um, and then we got that go ahead on Friday. Philip Ingram is here now. He's obviously, you know him, he's a, a military analyst. This is a big deal, isn't it? Having Finland officially joining NATO on Tuesday, given that huge border with Russia and their history with the Russians. It's, it's a very big deal. You know, Finland uh, has for many years tried to stay neutral because of its border with Russia and the the, the way it would um, have impacted on its relationship with Russia. And after Russia's illegal reinvasion of Ukraine, you know, Finland has examined its defensive posture and decided that actually it would be stronger to be part of NATO. And then we had that um, issue with Finland and Turkey, and Turkey was you're trying to negotiate further um, uh, uh, relationships with Finland and, 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 and issues with them, as happens with any um, uh, international negotiations that are going on. But this is significant because Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine because he didn't want Ukraine to become closer to the West, to become closer to NATO. NATO is now expanding because of it. And that's always the, the argument, isn't it, um, that the Russians and their allies have said, oh, well, NATO was on Russia's doorstep. Well, now it is, and it wasn't going to be had he not invaded Ukraine. Exactly, and we've now got you know, thousands of kilometers of um, border uh, with Russia. Um, there have been NATO flights um, with their surveillance aircraft going up over Finnish airspace um, in recent weeks. Uh, that gives NATO a much greater reach to see into Russia much more. Oh, that's um, interesting. So it will give a lot to NATO having the Finns oh, as huge, part of the alliance. Huge amount. Um, and, and militarily, Finland is very, very strong indeed. It's a very capable military. Um, they have conscription, the, don't they? Um, I'm not sure whether they still have conscription, um, but they, they've got a very professional um, military capability. I've worked with um, some of them uh, in different overseas operations. They've worked with NATO. They, they, they think, operate um, and can integrate very, very quickly indeed. And they do have such a strong military because of that history with Russia, don't they? And yeah. they feel that they have to be very strong because they've got the Russians on their doorstep. Well, they suffered you know, a Russian invasion back in the um, Second World War um, and they lost a big chunk of Finnish territory. So they, they understand exactly what's going on inside Ukraine at the moment. Um, and you know, they held the, uh, a, a massive, massive um, a Russian uh, military back during the Second World War um, and negotiated a, uh, you know, a, a settlement, but they did lose some territory in doing that. So they've got a bit of a score to settle. So what would it mean militarily um, that they are joining on Tuesday? Well, militarily what it means is Russia now has got, um, you know, they, they see Russia as this big bad wolf that is uh, focusing on trying to do harm to Russia. NATO is a defensive organization. It's, it's there to defend against anyone attacking into, into NATO's countries, but defend from a collective perspective. But Russia will see this as a potential aggressive move and it will split their defensive forces and they're going to have to move more up. Um, into the, the, the area around Finland because they'll see that as a greater NATO threat. And they'll be watching very closely as to you know, how Finland um, integrates its military and its capabilities in with NATO and, and, and what they're doing there. How long do you think that would take? It, it, it could happen very, very quickly indeed. Finland has been on exercises with NATO. Um, they've been deployed with NATO. They think the same way. The communications will work. Um, it, it's going to take a, a little while for some of the processes and procedures to come in and some of the documentation to be uh, uh, re-stamped NATO classified rather than necessarily just Finnish classified, um, but um, they could operate tomorrow. So NATO come Tuesday just got bigger and stronger? Oh, very much so. Oh. Very much so. And Vladimir Putin uh, will want to do something um, to try and mark that occasion uh, and he will probably do something inside Ukraine. It wouldn't surprise me if we see uh, more uh, rocket attacks and other things inside Ukraine. Okay, interesting. Philip, thank you so much.